Hello everybody, welcome to the Joy of Dwarven Painting. I'm Hamster. Today we're going to be painting the ruins where treasures await and faces get sunburns. Just me? Oh. Uh, well, this is the first uh, terrain sector that I led the design on, so I'm really happy that you're here to paint it. And if you'd like, there's also a PDF version of this paint guide linked in the description. Step one, we're going to slap this whole piece in basalt blue in an overall base coat. Step two, we're going to dry brush the entire piece heavily in one of my favorite Picorni colors, Bubbles Blue. For step three, we're going to pick out some of the silver details, but while we have basalt blue on the palette, we're going to base coat those because our Picorni silver is a little bit transparent. You may be able to skip this step if you have a more opaque silver, but I like to have a little blue effect to uh, influence the silver on top. For step four, we're going to paint over all the details we just painted blue with our seal silver, leaving a little bit of the blue behind. For this step, we're primarily focusing on these ornamental borders. 
and the designs on the top and sides. And sometimes there's some debris that also contains a section of them as well. It's easy to forget. I've done it many times, but make sure to hit that too. Step five, we're going to hit the last of the ornamental details in Picorni White. What we're mostly hitting here are the symbols on the border and these little symbols in the middle of each arch. For step six, we're going to do our final dry brush of Stone Edge Dry Brush from Picorni that ties it all together. I like to see this as sort of the pre-ruined state of the architecture, and this will make it all dusty and, and ruined. Don't be afraid to get some of this dry brush on the ornamental bits that we just painted because it gives them a little character and a little history so that they're not so pretty since they've been destroyed or weathered. An optional thing you can do on this first pass of the dry brush is to leave some of that bubbles blue on your brush so that it's kind of an intermediate color and then uh, rinse it off and hit it with straight stone edge dry brush. What I'll do now on some of the sharpest edges. we'll use our Picorni Shallow Water Green to hit the natural details, the leaves, the vines, the moss, and all that cool stuff. We're going to hit all of the details we just painted green with a quick dry brush swipe to give it a highlight.
And for the final step, we're going to do some weathering just to break up the big block of blue. So we're going to take the shallow water green that we just used, as well as some base wood, and hit some patches with a quick dry brush uh, to weather it up. I have focused primarily on the cracked parts or any parts that have some destruction on them, but you can vary it here and there with your collection. And that's it for painting Dwarven Forge Ruins. I'm very excited that you're tackling this painting challenge. I had a lot of fun painting these myself. And I paint every Thursday at 6 p.m. Eastern on Twitch at Dwarven Forge Live. Come on in, ask your painting questions, ask your, our community your questions, as well as in the Discord. They're very helpful and friendly. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.